Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. Place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. drawn to a flame. Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. For that is your fate. The fate of the cursed.
<laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> what is your name? an effigy of you. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Have a story. Why else would you visit such a place? This lost, decayed kingdom. My name is Millibeth. The old women were once fire keepers. I am here to look after them. It is what my mother did, and her mother before her and so on. The old women were keepers of the fire. But now, the fire shows signs of fading. And the kingdom is beset by hollows. 
The old women are sisters. I am told there was a fourth. Long ago, fire keepers were commonplace. But now they are lost, scattered to the winds. The old women are sisters. I am told there was a fourth. Long ago, fire keepers were commonplace. But now they are lost, scattered to the winds. <laughs> You must go on a journey without rest. Well, I suppose if you find yourself at an arm pass. But if your will is yet unbroken, then you may return here. To start again with a clean slate. Now, go along, go along. <laughs> now, go along, go along. <laughs> Thank you. 
fool you. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. Chop chop. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools.
Welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin, and I, well, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. I came from the west, from Volgan. Have you been there? It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. Very competitive, of course. And you, you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking gold. It's been years since then, and I've... <laughs> well, I've made very little headway. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still here. Everything's all run down and dying. It was t terrible for business, really. A group calling themselves the Blue Sentinels have gained much power in Volgan. You can't even run a shop without their blessing. They claim to be working for the greater good, oh, but it's absolute hogwash. Have you business with me? The way you're under is all blocked up, you see, by this god office statue. Heavens above! Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof, I'm in quite the pickle now. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough. It starts to look alive. Ach, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no craftsmen round these parts. Hey, you don't think a real-life person was turned to stone, do you? See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it. Ach, it just doesn't seem quite right. Hey.
Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Go on and see the king. He who made Drangleg what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrick. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, Return here to me, so that hope will not fade away. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it, so that I may help you. To see light, to see hope, however faint it might be. Over the hill and past the forest is the king's castle, where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it? Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. That blue knight at the base of the tower his spirit is already broken. Although he does offer sound advice. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. That tiny thing inside the ruins. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. The sign you bear will drain your very souls. And without souls, you will turn hollow. Stay strong. Do not lose hope. Even when you have precious little time. For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead. But only one step closer to hollowing. Not all undead are hollows. But all hollows were once undead. If you find an Estus shard, bring it to me. So that I may ease your burden. Over the hill and past the forest is the king's castle.
You are undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden, and like you, I lost everything, and now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really.
undead, are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, suit yourself. Oh yes, you may call me Shalqua. Enchante. So, what did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> This place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, nothing like yourself. For you have a most pleasant scent that grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> Nothing suited you, I presume? Well, that's dismaying. 